What is going on you guys? Erica Brand finally coming back with another video. So I think I'm gonna bring you guys kind of along today. Um right now we're about to in process. Well I'm about to in process. Um Liz went to go in process her area already. This is buffers right here in processing the home. Um this is how the living situation is right now. We're still waiting for household goods. So we're in an inflatable bed. Um got our pillows and everything at my whole iMac here. Bubba. Um but yeah, I think I'm gonna try to bring you guys around today and I know if I can't then it's because, you know, it's a new place, new people. People don't know exactly what I'm doing or exactly who I am and all that yet. But um, I know eventually I'm going to bring you guys around. But I'm going to, yeah, I guess, update you on the living situation and all that stuff. Alright, so I know a lot of folks try to figure out, like, what do you do when you go to your new duty station or a duty station or whatever, especially if you're a brand new little, uh, or brand new private, right? So, with me, um... Whenever I PCS to this new place, I had to stay in a hotel for a few days and figure out my living situation and figure out where I want to go, um, how I'm deciding everything and all that stuff. Because um, we had a lot of options. We had like townhomes or whatever we could rent or apartments we can rent or I can live in a hotel for a little bit or Airbnb or um, something for a little bit until I buy the house I wanted and all that. But... Um, yeah, I guess it just it took a lot of time to think and it was a lot stressful because I didn't want to figure out which one I wanted to do. And then obviously you kind of see what my, where my new home is. It's pretty, it's pretty neat. I like it a lot. Um, I definitely don't want to show you like too much, but I'm definitely going to give you guys a whole, let me turn Ooh, that natural light. But I'm definitely going to give you guys a home tour home tour i'm excited for this new journey i know a lot of it's different it's different from the drill surround life different from the life i had before and i know some people are not gonna like it some people are gonna like it but it's a regular army and the thing is i know you guys like the drill sergeant side because you know it was great for me to record it show you guys well i'm telling you i'm telling you i'm telling you i'm telling you you're gonna like more on this side uh, a little bit it's gonna be a little bit more my side but i'm able to show you guys a lot more about the army itself soon so yeah and don't worry about the mess in the background it's it's uh we're trying to figure out our our place and how we want everything i wish i was sad for you i wish i was sad Okay, so I figured out, I guess, the title or the information of this video. At the okay. So I, I guess I want to talk to you about the the process of in-processing and how my in-processing um, situation, everything is working for me right now. And um, honestly, I can tell you, right, little updates and everything, you know. Um, finding a place to live and everything that's like my own stress my own thing, but I know regardless um, I'm going to find an area like I did so that that's one of the things that gets you kind of um, Stress so if you are a single person or if you have family right and this is people just PCSing or going to a new duty station right? if you're e uh, E5 and below and single for the most part, you will be in the barracks, right? So you, regardless, you got a place to live. And then, um, and then if you're E, or if you're married, or E6 and above, you usually can figure out your own place of living, or um, your own place in general, 
all right so that's where i'm at where i'm like okay so um i don't want to live on post right i just prefer not to that's my own thing so now i gotta think about living somewhere outside right and one of the benefits about living outside right is because the bah right it's a monthly allowance of what you get for housing right it's basic allowance for housing right and sometimes if you want to live in a bougie place or a nice area or a good place right you might have to use all of your bh or more or whatever you need right but some place you're able to get a place that might be less or the house you get is, is a little bit less or the house you built is a little bit less right and there there you go now you have some money that you can save right i'm not saying to spend it off because me the type of person i am i like saving because you don't know what situation you might get into so savings is a big thing for me um so once that's done right and you decide to live on a place that's um you know outside you want to start thinking of places to live um start looking at places you know apartments houses zillow Trula, I think, is another app. So, so once you're you're going through with finding stuff like that, right? You're all set. But how you're in processing is is that you should have a sponsor. Right? Me, my situation was a little bit different just because the switch of my orders and the switch of everything. And I'm not gonna get into that because that'll be explained a little bit more later on. But, but still, even though I got here last minute and a lot of people weren't tracking, right? My experience from in processing has been I guess one of the best experiences I've had in a very long time right um, when I became a drill I didn't really have to worry about having a sponsor because all my buddies are already here from the Academy and um, I like we in process all together so I didn't I wasn't worried about that um, as a private and all that stuff you are supposed to have a sponsor they are supposed to already message you um, on or email you through your account and everything get contact numbers and they are supposed to walk you through everything right if they're not benefiting you right you just go to the chain or you just go and try to find someone else from that place in order to help you out there's always someone that's willing to help someone out that's why i learned about the military you, like a lot of people understand coming in and being new and being like where the heck am i supposed to go or where am i supposed to in process right so how my in processing has been right um automatically i was getting calls seeing uh whenever i'm coming in and all that stuff and once i got here getting calls of if i'm set in am i good do i need a place do i need a place to stay um am i in a hotel asking me questions if i need anything all right and then eventually just keeping me updated with everything and hitting me up practically all the time um seeing if i need help or if i need anything in general right your sponsor is supposed to do that like one of um the nco that is above me is the one that's helping me out and he's asking do you need pots and pans do you need a place to live do you have an air mattress do you have everything before your household gets to get here which is outstanding that's what you need as a like as a new person coming into a whole new facility right and that's exactly what i'm getting right now um also then i had um another nco be able to actually like if i don't know a certain place be actually there to assist me and um like take me to places or uh show me here this that and whatever i need to con contact them as well so right now the process of my in processing has been um very well you know we're working through the little things because places are now it's dealing with the covid mitigations and everything and um social distancing and making sure people have appointments and all that stuff but that is how my in processing thing is right now um i guess that's a video um i just want to share i want to bring you guys through along my journey and i don't want to um bull crap i, I don't want to tell you not the truth i want to tell you exactly my experience because that's my experience of what i'm going through um but yeah right now the experience has been great i'm still in processing um i, I gotta do with appointment appointments but then you know still trying to integrate with the new place i'm going to which i'm excited to show you i'm excited to uh rip this patch off and show you my next patch because some people will understand what it is some people won't um and they'll be like they'll, they'll still not understand where i'm at but i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up i'll be streaming every saturday on twitch so follow me on twitch.tv slash erica bernie right every saturday the reason why i didn't stream last saturday was because in the middle of moving so i don't have any of my household goods um i don't have my pc in order to stream on that i'll be streaming every saturday and i'll start trying to stream on youtube as well but again monday wednesday uh, fridays 
how you see my video schedule. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Um, be on the lookout for um, house review or my house. Hey, baby. I got my head in the clouds, I don't wanna come down I got one, two, three people doubting me now I had to stop with the numbers, it's too many to count But I'll make sure to thank them when I'm taking my back Oh, it's so complicated